Welcome, ladies and gents, to another live casting game. I do not know the outcome of this game. I'm observing it live on the ranked ladder right now. And of course, what is it? It's another Lakota game. You guys are probably sick and tired of this. I've been covering Lakota quite a bit. I really enjoy them. I don't care what you guys say. I just love watching them. And especially, I, I don't know who this gentleman or lady is who is playing Lakota right now. It's 81593. It could be an AI. It could be ChatGPT 4.5 model here. Who knows? But it's 81593 playing Lakota in the bottom part of the map here in the Siam. And I Am Turk is going to have a little bit of trouble here because this map is one of the juiciest maps for Lakota simply because of the trade line. The trade line is massive. So I Am Turk here playing the Dutch in the north of the map in the red here. It's going to be a tricky one. It's going to be a very, very tricky one for Turk. He's got to really think about what he needs to do. So let's have a look at the opening anyway. We see a TP going down. Fantastic. And I think that's all we're going to see. Maybe we might have the ability to drop a market. Depends on what kind of treasures we find. We are seeing that um, already grabbing a bandit rider. Converting a bandit rider. Fantastic. Turks explore there managing to crack shot that bandit rider. And the envoy is free, ladies and gents. The envoy can do his little jog as he does. His little... <laughs> come on, come on. Getting his 5k in. What a legend. All right. So, I love how this guy's called DE. It's fantastic. So, let's have a look back at this then. Can we have a look at the decks? We can. SSS, triple S. Let's have a look. What have we got here, ladies and gents? Oh, it's kind of an interesting one. Wow, we, what on earth? We are seeing some interesting cards. Uh, we got the Onikare here. The Takala soldiers do increased damage to infantry. We are seeing the Kree trackers, which is one that we saw with Haudenosaunee. We're seeing double Lakota support here. We're seeing the Kettle. Sorry, the Lakota support here gives you two War Hut Trevoirs and 16 Wakinas. This one gives you 14, but it gives you 20% HP. So interesting to see both of them here. We have Mustang as well, which is an interesting one that reduces uh, Cav and, uh, yeah, just Cav cost overall. And, uh, yeah, some stuff loaded in H4. We got the War Chief's Aura now boosts uh, your unit's attack. And, of course, the old ways. Look at this. The all special big button upgrades um, have their price greatly reduced. All the big button ones. Wow. Okay, what are we seeing here? We're seeing 8159. Going to be aging up with the 400 wood age up. All veils over to wood. If he doesn't go stagecoach, I don't know what he's thinking about. I don't know what he's doing. This is the stagecoach map, ladies and gents. You've got to do it. You've got to do it. All right. Let's have a look at I Am Turk here. Just slightly ahead on the age up. Going to be going for the quartermaster, of course. Nothing crazy here for Dutch. As I always say with Dutch, nothing ever changes. All you need to do is just macro for your first bank. That's all you need to worry about. Macro for your first bank. Make sure that you have enough coin to get your first villager in when you age up. Okay, let's have a look at the deck. Once again, very, very standard. Nothing crazy. We do see the Ward Gelders in here. The Swiss Pikemen. Along with a nice bozzy, bozzy, bozzy. Oi, oi, oi. Age 3 shipment. Mercenary shipment here as well. All right. And yeah, we're looking like 81593. We're going to call him 8, actually. 8 is um, going for the war hut. He's now dropping his first TP. And now all villagers have immediately moved over to food now. So they're not collecting any wood. Which is interesting, because normally I leave maybe 2, 3 fills on wood. But I guess we're going to probably most likely see that... Yeah, we're going to see the 700 wood coming in. We've now got the 400 wood dropped off as well. So so we are we are rocking 1,100 wood. So I don't think he... He feels like there's no real need right now to start collecting wood from the trees. Or chopping, I should say. Let's have a look at Turk here. 400 wood's come in, immediately coming in with the 700 wood. Managing to get that second bank down. Sharpish. And this is a fantastic kind of opening here as the Dutch. We do see a market now going down as well. So pretty straightforward. Are we going to see a bank card? Yes, we are. 700 wood, one bank. Very, very nice. 
Now, a trading post. A second one coming in. Do we have Stagecoach yet from 8-1? Yeah, Traveling Merchant. The Stagecoach is coming in. Very nice. And we are um, seeing uh, the Seaton Bowman. Or the Chetan Bowman. I like saying Chetan. Even if it might be wrong, Chetan good. I feel like Howard has an overall Cav weakness, if that makes any sense at all. I feel like Howard has an overall Cav weakness. Interesting. I don't know. I think the Canyon Horse would have pretty darn huge, to be fair. But maybe I'm just smoking something. Smoking something wrong, if you get my drift. Okay, we have another card available. Are we going to see some Axemen here? We are going to see four Axemen. Honestly, having 600 wood as well, I don't know if it is actually ever really necessary to do back-to-back -back wood shipments. I'm going to be honest with you. Maybe if you do go the TP line, potentially. Um, we are going to see a market now going down. Still all this wood to collect. And interestingly, we're going to see the tribal marketplace. All right, all right. Maybe a corral could be a thing that's going down, potentially. Sometimes when you see that, that's what you normally think. Corral time. And another TP dropping down. And now we're seeing the seven Chetan Bowman. Starting to get into the units now. We don't see the Maceman in here, which is interesting. Are we going to see Cree allies potentially? Is that why we're dropping the marketplace? Are we going to get a nice Cree allies timing potentially? Who knows? A lot of veals backed up here. Let's have a quick look at Turk. On four banks now. Pretty scary eco here, but we must stress that the Lakota player does have three TPs. And he doesn't want to lose his Axe Riders. That was kind of unfortunate there. Two Axe Riders going down there for one vil. I don't know, ladies and gents, what do you think about that? And, and sneakily, Turk has managed to drop himself a trade post, but that is going to be no more. We do see some Club Warriors coming in to start sieging that. Yes, we do see the corral. Okay, I thought this might be the case. We're seeing the corral. Uh, this is a fantastic upgrade, by the way, guys. 10% um, for your uh, gather rate here, if you can afford it. Very, very good. Do not, not to be sniffed at. Very, very nice upgrade. And yeah, this wood is just going to be providing so much here. So you can see that um, 815 here is basically not even bothered anymore about collecting any kind of wood just for now he is just concentrating more on collecting coin he wants to get another batch of axemen in and now he's going for the great hunter so just improving his eco even further i feel like turk should be aging yes he is he's fast aging He's managed to get away with it. He's on four banks, dropping a stables behind here. Loving the design of his base. Look at this, starting to get a wall in here as well now. And getting eight pikemen going up with the fast stage up here. Stagecoach with the coat is busted. Changed my mind. It is pretty crazy, I must say. It does make the sieve pretty much A tier on uh, stagecoach maps i would say on non-stagecoach they're probably just like a b really just just an overall b but on stagecoach it's just crazy it really really is now we're going to see some chetan here trying to see what the, see what we can see six axe riders coming in all chests are on coin here looking like a age up potential so and he knows I am Turk is now aged. He's got all of his TPs on coin. So I think I think he's thinking that, you know, it's time now to probably back off and age up. He can fast age. He has access to the fast age up. So that's something that he can definitely do. And now we're going to see some pressure from Turk here. So, oh God, this is very, that'd be very scary. If uh, those axe riders actually made that connection, the writers wouldn't have been able to get over in time. Very, very lucky there. Now we're going to see the good old skirm writer in action. Fast age up coming in now for 815. He's going to start to get a bit of pushback here from Turk. Turk is uh, most likely going to be sending maybe eight skirms. 
And he's going to continue with Rioter production, I would say. He does only have the one stable for now. But I think 815 is still in a comfortable position. Yes, going for Spirit Medicine. That's what it's called. Not Bow Medicine, Spirit Medicine. That will increase the HP of your Vils. Highly recommended. Oh, look at this. Counter Raid on the north-hand side here. Going to drop a Villager. When did he get? When did he sneak those through? I didn't even see that. Did he go round here? He must have done. He's going to force Turk to come back to his base. Wasting time. Fantastic. Going to be able to draw him away from the TP line. And look at this. 815 going in for eight villagers first. Doesn't even care about it. And now he's going to start to get in the bow riders. That's absolutely nuts. I feel like, um, like Wakina Axe Rider could work really well. I think Wakina Axe Rider is actually not bad, but Wakina Bow Rider against uh, we we got Skirm Goon matchup, ladies and gents. Skirm Goon versus Skirm Goon, it's happening. And now we're going to see Elite Bow Riders coming in. Eight villagers behind this as well. Very confident. I don't know if I would go eight villagers, but he's doing it. He's done it. And he is now, he's lost another TP. We are going to see an engagement here. These Chetan Bowmen, I mean, to be honest, I don't think he was ever going to upgrade them. So they're kind of just fodder at this point. He is going to be losing them. I'll just get the Axeman out of there if you can. And a bit of a clean up there. Just needs to consolidate. He does have access, remember, to the 16 Wakina or the 14 Wakina. He's got 1,000 coins, so I think he's probably going to go for that juicy shipment. He just needs to probably switch his TPs to XP. Honestly, I'd say switch him to XP. He doesn't need the wood anymore. He's already got his upgrades in. Switch that to XP, and then you can hopefully get that really nice Wakina upgrade in. Looks like he's going to sort of get chased here a little bit. Needs to be very careful. Another TP going down. Wikina here going to be able to get some nice pickoffs. Very, very good. Couple of pickoffs there. Very, very nice. And yes, the card is available. I'm hoping that he's. Oh, he hasn't got the coin anymore though. He hasn't got the coin. He did have it, but now he doesn't. Now he's sort of lost his flow a little bit here. What is he going to do? I think he's... I don't know what he's going to do, actually. Is he going to try and sell some food here? Get some coin? Or he's got that card available. What is he going to do? Oh. I love how he's already putting these tribal marketplaces down before he's actually got his vills over there. It's kind of an interesting play. He's already, like, pre-built the tribal marketplace so he doesn't have to do it. It's quite a nice idea, actually. Might actually do that myself. Skirm's going to get a little pick off on those bow riders there. And still, 81593 is holding this card. What is he doing? What is he holding it for? This is the problem. He doesn't... I mean, he's got the rifle riders. They're not going to be any use. He doesn't have five axe riders. He does have the Takalas. He could go for a Cav combat upgrade here because he does have a decent amount of bow riders. But I don't know why he's holding this card. I, yes, now he's going for the Cav combat. I mean, that was... That was kind of sloppy there from 815. Really holding that card off for that long is not ideal. He's got so much wood because he hasn't switched his TPs here. Honestly, he could have just sold the wood, maybe. It kind of seems a bit rough to sell wood, but he could have sold the wood and then just gathered the extra and then got the kettle support. Um, or maybe not the kettle support. Yeah, the kettle. The two kettle support. That would have been really good. He's going to go right into... Turk's base here. A bit scary, to be honest. There's no cards available just yet for him. I always get very nervous. Is he going to trap himself here? Wakinas are in an okay position, to be honest. Uh, well, no, I say that. They are getting picked off quite a bit here. Is he going to lose quite a few? He's probably going to regret this decision. There's so much stuff coming through here from I Am Turk. And he's going to be comfortable here to chase this down. And that's exactly what he's doing. Rifle Riders getting straight on top of them. Going to be able to clear them all up. Good night. The Bow Riders here are going to have to get out as well. They're not going to be able to deal with this many Riders. And we're seeing that in action right now. Look at all these Skirms. It's not looking good. What has 815 got in store here? Uh, 
Wait, I thought he just got that. Oh, no, he's getting cav damage now. Sorry, I think he went for cav combat. Now going for cav damage. He's doubling down on the cav when, honestly, he's nearly got the coin here. Maybe he could have just gone for the kettle support to help with his wakinas. But, yeah, he's, he's unfortunately got cleaned up here. Now, eco-wise, Turk is looking pretty good. He's on 24 vils, but he's got five banks, I believe. Yeah, he's got five banks. He's finally building his, his fifth bank. So he's going to be looking pretty good. We are seeing a TP going down here. Remember, ladies and gents, TPs do provide some HP boost when you need to fight. We can see here that they're 347. And uh, if we... Yeah, can you see that? 315 to 347. So it is a 10%... HP buff on these TPs and they are only really 50 wood each so sometimes it can be beneficial to drop a TP down when you're pushing or around your base so that you can stay under a TP and it, it can really help look at all these bills man that's a lot of bills they're going to get really cut off here and I'm not too sure what 815 is going to do he's just going to have to get round we do see a counter kind of raid here against a few of Turks Vils trying to get the hunts in. Remember these bow riders. Look how juicy they are now. 315 HP. A lot of damage as well. Base damage. 31 base damage. And he's actually getting some good trades here. Turks keeping an eye off the ball here. However, only 26 Vils for 815. Turk on 16 though. It's a massacre on both sides. And all the Vils are now going over to the Community Plaza. Going to be trying to get the War Chief back here if possible. I'd probably switch to Attack Dance while you are fighting. But it looks like Lakota are actually managing to clear up what's here. However, there's a lot of reinforcements on the way for Turk. So I think 815 just needs to get out of here now. He needs to get out while he still can. Three to Takala soldiers still hasn't gone for any of these support cards. It's not good. They, they hold so much value and he hasn't managed to use them yet. That's why I always recommend a few normal military cards uh, rather than always going for these supports because sometimes it's hard to get the coin that you need for them. And uh, still got quite a few hunts left. Oh, don't lose those to Carlos. Please don't lose them. Oh, no, is he? Oh, he might be overcommitting here a little bit. There's still a few rioters on the field. One Takala soldier, I think, is going to go down. There's so many skirms here. They can basically just sort of two-shot them. Unfortunately, focusing on the Explorer there, and I think all of his Takala soldiers have gone down. And the Bowriders are going to try and see how much they can do in this situation, and it's not going to be enough. That was a real shame. I think he kind of threw those Takalas a little bit there, which was not good. As a whole unit. So as a whole shipment gone, a whole card shipment wasted. And we do see now he's losing the TP line. So the eco now for Turk is off the chain. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, he's managed to get all this wood now that he needs. He's got too much wood, Turk, from, from getting these uh, TPs. And, uh, sorry, guys. And um, honestly, I think 815 is in a sticky situation here. He's getting squeezed. He's doing a great job of going around the map with the bow riders, but the, the riders here are going to be able to finally pick him off. I think he's just going to try and focus the vills here. The explorer here trying to run away, not going to be able to, and it's not looking good. Another card is available. Doesn't have the coin still for any of those support cards. So it's going to leave him with uh, five rifle riders as his only option, which is going to be useless against this composition, to be honest. So uh, Turk here doing a fantastic job. And there is the GG, ladies and gents. Turk doing a fantastic job here. You know, Dutch in a really bad situation with this map. It really puts Dutch uh, in an uncomfortable position. And I think, honestly, a few things may be missed from 815 here. I think he made a great decision to age up. Unfortunately, he did lose his Chetan Bowman and a few units around this part of the map earlier on. And he, he just couldn't get out any, like, 
He was really struggling. He needed to get one of these support cards. And I think that would have really made a difference, quite honestly. And potentially using the big button at the TC so he can get some um, some of the Tashunki units as well could have really changed the tide of the game. And the thing is, if you play Lakota and if you play on a map that gives you stagecoach, if you lose stagecoach and it gets it gets sort of taken over by your opponent, it's really hard to get back into the game, especially when you're against Dutch because Dutch already have the decent income from the banks. The minute they get a stagecoach, their eco is going to be off the chain. And we can see that here. Look at this, 27 against 22. Even though Lakota had the stagecoach for like half the game, you can really see it there. Uh, military as well. And overall timeline, let's have a look at the population or the resources. So you can see, even, even with that stagecoach, the eco is still in favor of Turk here. You know, this is the thing. The age up wasn't too bad. The, the reaction here and the age up being required was a good good reaction from 815. Maybe a little bit earlier could have been done, but it's, it's difficult to say. It is very hard to push into Dutch in age two as Lakota. You can just try and push your way through with like clubman warriors and, and, and everything, and club warriors, and you can use the siege to try and siege everything down. I just think it's very difficult still to push into a Dutch base in age two. So you kind of have to get into age three and uh, beat them on the map that way. But there we go, ladies and gents. Hope you really enjoyed that one.